It was another day full of town halls and rallies. It's crunch time for presidential hopefuls with the South Carolina, South Carolina primary just days away. Marco Rubio, one candidate in some need of some momentum behind in the polls, needing good news this Saturday. I talked with Rubio today at his rally in Dorchester County, and he told me he's confident he will be the next commander in chief. Please help me welcome the next president of the United States, Marco Senator Marco Rubio takes the stage at the Dorchester Boat Club. You're here in the middle of a Tuesday because you understand this election is not just another election. It isn't. Hundreds of supporters, but many undecided voters there to listen to his message. America, by the way, America is not a government. America is a country, and a country made up of our people. I was able to talk to the Florida senator about his expectations going into Saturday. Still optimistic, although the recent numbers show him in third place behind Donald Trump and Ted Cruz. Well, we feel good. We have a great team here. We feel good about momentum and, and energy around our campaign. You see the turnout here today, so we feel great about it. He told the crowd why he should be president and his foreign policy second to none. He told me he wished for more policy and vision from his rivals and not mudslinging. We're going to get back to policy and vision and quit throwing the mud? That's what I want. Well, we don't throw mud. My campaign has, doesn't attack people. We respond to attacks. But we're largely focused on our message and about the future, and that's what we're going to continue to talk about. He's in very good shape. He's where he needs to be right now, and I think that over the next four or five days, we'll make up more ground. One of Rubio's biggest supporters, Senator Tim Scott, who has been traveling with him throughout the state. Scott saying another key endorsement from, say, Governor Haley, might put Rubio over the top. Well, if she's going to make a decision, she better make it in the next four or five days, or what she decides won't matter as much. Days well, we'd ahead. love to have Governor Haley's endorsement. Obviously, I don't know if she intends to endorse anyone or not. We'd love to have it. It would be meaningful, not just in South Carolina, but nationally. Marco Rubio in Buford this morning. Then he was there in Somerville, now in North Myrtle Beach. You can expect more of the same the remainder of the week.